how to start a UK dropshipping business, a full step-by-step -step guide for beginners. If you want to start your own dropshipping business and you've got your eye on the United Kingdom, there's a good reason for that. It's one of the biggest markets in the world and doesn't have as much competition as other regions like in the US. That's why in this video, I will show you all of the ins and outs and how to start your own UK dropshipping business, whether you live in the UK or not. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, I'm Liran from AutoDS and in this video you're gonna learn how to start your own dropshipping business in the UK no matter where you live around the world and no matter what selling channel, what platform you want to sell on. One second before that, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet. If you always want to stay updated and learn about the biggest and hottest topics that are coming out in the world of dropshipping. And of course, like and share this video if you appreciate the value. Now, having said that, let's go ahead and begin on how to start a UK dropshipping business. For all of you guys who are beginners here and you haven't heard much of the term dropshipping yet, this is a very easy business model with low risk that can give you high rewards. And the way it works is you have an online store where you sell products without holding any inventory, which means no initial investments and no big expenses right from the start. Once a customer purchases a product from your store, you simply ship out that product to the customer's address directly from your supplier, meaning the product does not go through you, the seller, the dropshipper. You are just the middleman keeping the profit between the source price and the selling price. So what we're doing here basically is we are the middleman between the supplier, the manufacturer and the end customer. All that you need to do is find the right UK dropshipping suppliers with great products that ship from the UK and find the right selling channel to sell it on. And there's more than one right answer for this. And in this selling channel, you're going to list that supplier's products or multiple suppliers if you wanna scale and earn even more. And you'll simply be importing products from your UK suppliers to your selling channel. And this is where the UK online shoppers will go to see what products you have for sale and purchase from your store. Let's see how all of that works and everything else that comes along with the territory. Let's start with some of the most frequently asked questions. Is dropshipping even legal in the UK? Especially if you don't even live in the UK, can you sell to them? And what are the rules and regulations that come along with that? So dropshipping is and always has been and always will be a legal business model. Anyone can become a dropshipper, an e-commerce store owner, all you need is a computer, an internet connection, and the right knowledge and tools, some of which I'm passing on to you in this video. And for those of you who don't know, everything that I'm going over in this video is also on our blog article, which I'll leave a link to right below. So dropshipping is definitely a legal business model. You just need to keep a few things in mind, like, selling the right products, do not sell products that are copyrighted or that are trademarked. And you also want to abide by UK's business rules. Go over the ACS advice on preventing underage sales and read UK's competition and consumer laws for businesses, as well as their online and distance selling rules. Hearing about all of this may sound a little bit scary, but believe me, it's not. All the information here goes along with common sense and it's actually very practical and easy to follow. Just stay away from products that you cannot resell and also dangerous products like tobacco, firearms, weapons, ammunition, flammable material, flammable liquids, and all things of those sorts. Besides that and copyrighted and trademark products, you shouldn't have any problems selling to the UK. But go over those rules and regulations just to be on the safe side. And always remember, if you're going to dropship with our automation tool with AutoDS, you'll always be protected when you're trying to add a product to your store that you are not allowed to resell. Since AutoDS has a large Vero database with all kinds of products that you are not allowed to resell as a dropshipper. So you'll get hit with those warning signs and you can take it from there. So that's another layer of protection for you when starting off. And this way you'll be able to avoid making other people's mistakes. Finally, the links to everything that you need to read about I will also leave them right below this video and you also have them in the blog article. Is dropshipping profitable in the UK? Well, I probably wouldn't be making this video if it wasn't. But to better show you how profitable dropshipping in the UK is, you can check out this chart from Statista on the e-commerce sales in the UK from 2014 to 2019. Now, granted, today we're in 2022, which is three years past this chart. But just by looking at the increasing numbers, which you can see here in billion, 
in Great Britain pounds. So this for so here for example, 2015, we almost reached 500 million Great Britain pounds in sales just from e-commerce in the UK. And you can see how the numbers increased every year. Now, dropshipping alone and also the UK market is growing exponentially every year. There is never a better time to join than now. And in one year from now, you're going to say the same thing one year ago and so forth moving forward. And this chart is just a small example of the potential of having an e-commerce business in the UK. So yes, it is a very profitable business model and a very profitable market to target to when running your e-commerce business. What are my UK dropshipping tax obligations? Now, this is a question that many, many people are asking before starting a UK dropshipping business, whether you live in the UK or not. So what are your tax obligations? How does this work? Work, and how do you get around this to doing it the right way, the legal way, and doing everything by the book? As a dropshipper in the UK, you have three tax obligations. The first one is income tax, the second is your VAT, and the third is customs duty. Let's go over each of them one by one. Your income tax is what you have to pay your local government, so wherever you live around the world, your local government probably wants you to pay an income tax for every income that you are making, including having a dropshipping or e-commerce business. What this means is you will have to pay your own government a certain percentage from your total profits and this can easily be done if you have a local accountant. So what you need to do is speak with a local accountant and ask them what are your income tax obligations and every other tax obligation that you have if you want to dropship from where you are to the UK market. Your local accountant should help fill you in with all the information, including what your tax percentages are and everything else that comes along with the territory. So your income tax differs on where you live and that is why you need to speak with a local accountant. The second is VAT. When dropshipping to the UK market, we have to charge our customers a 20% VAT fee from every purchase and then we'll have to pay that 20% to the UK government. Now there's two ways of doing this. One, you can collect it from the buyer yourself on every sale, collect 20% VAT and then pay that to the UK government or you can have the customers pay VAT to the delivery company that's delivering the package to them but of course the buyers would much rather have you pay the vat and that will give them another reason to buy from your store so make sure that you have a store policies section on your e-commerce store and in the policy section let the buyers know what happens with custom duties and taxes who's going to pay for them and how is that going to work if you want to better understand your obligations when it comes to shipments coming from outside the uk be sure to read the taxes and customs for goods sent abroad from the UK government. I will leave a link to that right below this video. And keep in mind that goods that cost under 135 pounds that are imported from outside the UK will most likely not have to pay for custom duties and taxes. The next question that we need to tackle before I show you how to start your own UK dropshipping business is should you start a company in the UK? This is another question that many people ask and there's a good reason for that. Let's split this section into two. If you live in the UK, then you need to register a business in the UK. Now, there are three types of businesses that you can register for a sole trader, a limited company or a partnership. As a sole trader, it's much easier to start, run and manage your business in terms of finances. Everything is much more straightforward and simple. Although if you're going for a limited company or a partnership, you'll get better tax relief and better options for your business. But this is better suitable for people who already have established businesses. So if you live in the UK and you didn't register for a business yet and you want to start dropshipping in the UK, you should start with a sole trader account. Now, if you do not live in the UK, this is where your local accountant once again comes into play because different countries have different rules and regulations for this. So once again, speak with your local accountant and ask them if you need to register a business in the UK or wherever you live. Most likely, they'll tell you that you need to register for a business in the country that you reside in. Do I need to register for UK VAT? Now, this once again applies to whether you live in the UK or not. If you live in the UK, you need to register for UK VAT after exceeding 85,000 pounds in sales in the previous 12 months. So if you made that much in the last year, this is the time to register for VAT if you live in the UK. Now, if you do not live in the UK, but you're dropshipping to the United Kingdom, you need to register for VAT as soon as your first package reaches the United Kingdom. So it's better to get that done ahead of time in order for your deliveries to not get stuck along the way. Now that we got all the legal stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and learn 
how to start a UK dropshipping business the right way. In order to start a successful dropshipping business in the UK, no matter where you live, these are the steps to follow. Step one, conduct fruitful product research that will bring you the best and most trending products to sell in your stores. This is always going to be the first step and the step that you're going to put the most amount of work in. And that is because if you're not going to sell products that people are looking to buy, then everything else that you do around your e-commerce store won't really matter. Step two, select a UK supplier. This is the part where you're going to look for the best UK suppliers that ship from UK warehouses to your UK audience. That way you're gonna get fast domestic shipping times, return customers, repeat customers because you ship out your product so quickly. And that is a great way to grow your e-commerce business. The third step is to choose your selling channel. So you already know what products you're going to sell. You know which suppliers hold those products for you to sell. Now you need to choose where you're going to sell those products. You can choose different marketplaces like eBay UK, Shopify UK, Wix UK and more. Step number four, you're going to list your products. So now that you have the products that you want to sell, you know which suppliers you're going to get them from, you know what selling channel you're going to sell them on. Now you need to list your products on that selling channel. Step number five, you're going to learn how to market your store. So depending on which selling channel you're using, there are different online marketing methods that you can use in order to bring traffic to your website and increase your brand awareness. And of course, start getting those sales. Step number six, you will learn how to fulfill your orders. Once you have your products on your store and you learn to market them, you're going to have traffic brought to your website. People are going to view your products and they're going to purchase them. This is where you're going to learn how to fulfill your orders. Step number seven is customer service, because once you get orders, people are going to start getting their deliveries and they're going to start sending you messages. Now, not every customer sends you a message and sometimes they'll just drop by to say thank you. And sometimes they may have trouble with something with their order and customer service really goes a long way for the long term survivability of your e-commerce business. Now, let's go ahead and begin with step number one product research. How do you conduct product research? Now, there are many, many ways to conduct great product research and get great trending products to sell on your dropshipping stores. I'm going to go with my top favorites. The first, simply go to your supplier's website and look for products that are trending there. If you're not sure what suppliers you should use for that, just hang on because we will get to that later on in this video. The second is to go to AliExpress's Dropshipping Center. The AliExpress Dropship Center is a great tool provided by AliExpress to help you find the best and most trending items to sell on your store. Even if you don't use AliExpress as a supplier, you can still use their product research tool to get great product ideas. Here is what the AliExpress Dropshipping Center looks like and you can search between different product categories, delivery times, shipping from different warehouse locations and to different regions around the world. And of course you can analyze each product and see how many orders it has and so forth. So be sure to check out the Dropshipping Center to get great product ideas. I will leave a link to the AliExpress Dropshipping Center right below this video. Another great way to find trending product ideas for your e-commerce stores is using the internal product research tool provided by AutoDS. Simply click on these dots on the top left and switch over to the product research tool. Here you can see some of the best items that are selling and we're always updating this database with more and more trending products. You can see what products are popular trending right now, new products that were just added to the database, holiday products for the next upcoming holiday to prepare for it on time with the right products, and US suppliers, China suppliers, where you're going to get the best product ideas. Soon we're gonna add more suppliers from different regions as well as wholesale private dropshipping suppliers, which will help your business stand out much more from the competition. But either way, you're gonna get the best trending product ideas using AutoDS's product research tool, which is free for every AutoDS subscriber and already integrated into the system. And in just one click, you can import products that you see here to your e-commerce stores. So use the integrated product research tool on AutoDS to get some of the best product ideas to sell on your UK store. If you're dropshipping on places like Shopify or Wix, you can use a great extension, a great Chrome extension called the Koala Inspector. And this tool is gonna easily help you spy on other Shopify or Wix dropshipping stores, see what's selling well for them, what apps they're using, what products are selling on their websites and other secret methods that they are using to get those extra sales. 
This is going to help you spy on your competition in places where it's hard to see and know what stores are Shopify or Wix. So once again, with the Koala Inspector, it'll help you conduct your product research much easier on those selling platforms and see what your competition there is doing. Now, you can use any one of these product research tools and implement that into our product research dropshipping spreadsheet that will help you narrow down your products and find the ones with the highest potential to sell on your stores. Here, you're going to answer questions like what is the product and the source link and then you'll answer questions like are you passionate about this product is this product hard to find in stores is it hard to guess the price is it safe to sell can this product be bought without much research does this product solve a problem or stand out does it cost less than $30, which is great for new stores? And does it comply with Facebook's ad policies? Even if you don't wanna run ads on Facebook, you still wanna comply with those policies because it also helps you on other platforms. If you answer yes to everything, it is a high potential product. If there is no to some of them, you should skip over to the next products that you have here in line. And once again, it'll help you narrow down the products to those with the highest potential to sell on your stores. I'm going to leave a link to this spreadsheet once again right below this video. And all you have to do is click on file and make a copy in order to have a copy that you will be able to edit for yourself. So use the product research tools that I talked about, write down the products inside this spreadsheet, and that will help you pick out and narrow down the best products to sell with the highest potential on your dropshipping stores. Now, once you've got your list of trending products to add to your dropshipping stores, the next step is to select a reliable UK supplier. To help you with this, head over to autods.com slash suppliers and see all of the suppliers that you can work with, all of the recommended dropshipping suppliers. And if you click here on the United Kingdom button, it'll show you all of the suppliers that have warehouses in the UK, meaning you can grab products from these suppliers and import them to your UK store. And this way you'll be able to have fast shipping times, as I spoke about earlier, these fast domestic shipping times from within the UK to the UK. So in this example, you've got AliExpress, Amazon, Banggood, eBay, Wayfair, Costway, Vita.xl, and DHgate with warehouses inside the United Kingdom where you can ship quickly from and to the UK. With millions and millions of products available in UK warehouses from these great dropshipping suppliers, you really won't have a problem selling them on your dropshipping store as long as you conducted great product research. And a great tip that I can give you here is to work with more than one UK dropshipping supplier. You don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket and rely only on one supplier. For example, if they ever run out of stock on a certain product and it was selling well for you, you'd want to use the other sellers that you have to get that product back in your store. And that is just one example. You can find different prices on the same or similar products from different suppliers. So you can get more profits when working with multiple suppliers. And there are much more advantages that will come along with that, along with having a much bigger range of products for you to resell. So always be sure to work with more than one dropshipping suppliers, start with two or three suppliers and work your way up from there. Once you found your dropshipping supplier, it's time to choose your selling channel. Now here, there are three great selling channels for you to use eBay UK, Shopify UK, and Wix UK. Getting started on eBay is easy as it is a very user-friendly platform and you don't need to customize your own website in order to start selling. All you need to do is register for a free eBay account, list your products and start selling. eBay also gives you free organic traffic, meaning you don't have to market your products and you don't have to promote them in any certain way in order to get traffic on your listing and start getting sales. The only downside to selling on eBay is starting a new seller account you'll only be limited to having 10 listings and you'll have to call eBay and ask them to increase your limits once a month and that way you can get more listings to sell and profit. eBay wants you to start slow. They wanna to get to know you first, the seller, and only then they will upgrade you to more listings and give you more trust on their platform to sell more products and even more expensive products in different categories to their buyers. Now, on the other hand, we have Shopify and Wix. On both Shopify and Wix, you can also sell to the UK market. Now with Shopify and Wix, you are creating your own customizable website from scratch. Even though you don't really need to have any technical skills in order to do that, and we already have a full explanation of how to start a Shopify dropshipping business, how to create a Shopify dropshipping website, and also how to create 
create a Wix dropshipping website all on our blog page and on our free courses. So be sure to check that out if you want to learn step by step how to create your own website, your own dropshipping store on Shopify and on Wix. So here are the things that you're getting when you're dropshipping on Shopify and Wix. For one, there are no selling limits like there are on eBay. This means that from day one, you can list hundreds or even thousands of products at your store at once. It is your store and no one can tell you what to do with it. The customer is also yours on Shopify and Wix. You'll be obtaining their email addresses, which is something that eBay doesn't share with you. And then you can use those email addresses for email marketing later on once you obtained enough email addresses. Email marketing is one of the best marketing methods available along with others, which we will talk about further down below in this video. Also, Shopify and Wix are fully customizable and you'll have your own domain name connected to it. So you'll have your own www yourstore.com and for branding purposes it's much easier to brand your business on wix and on shopify than it is on ebay on the downside on shopify and wix you have to have an extra budget on the side for marketing because there is no organic traffic here nobody knows that your store and that your products exist and you will have to use online marketing methods in order to bring traffic to your website. So you'll have to know how to target the right audiences, do a lot of A-B testing, putting a lot of your daily budget into this until you start getting sales. Now on the upside to this, once you do start getting sales, it is much, much more scalable than it is on eBay. So there are ups and downs to both sides. And my suggestion is to try different selling channels and seeing what works best for you. Once you choose your selling channel, the next step is to start listing your products that you have from your product research dropshipping spreadsheet. So what we're doing now is we're adding those products to our dropshipping stores, no matter what selling channel we chose. Now there are two ways of adding products from your suppliers to your stores. The first is the manual method, meaning go to your supplier's website, download all of the images, copy all of the texts, all of the item specifications, all of the variations, and paste them onto your stores, onto your selling channel one by one. So you go to your selling channel, you add a new listing, and you start doing a lot of copying and pasting. This method consumes the most amount of time and if you want to scale your dropshipping businesses later on, you want to start automating your business from the get-go. For that, we have AutoDS, the number one dropshipping automation tool that will help you with many things like price and stock monitoring, meaning every time a price changes on my supplier's website and I have their product on my store, the product's price will also change accordingly on my store so I won't be losing profits. And if the stock status has changed, like if the product goes out of stock, it'll also automatically go on stock on my store. Besides that, you'll also have quick product importing. And this is what we're talking about right now. So this way, what you're gonna be able to do is take any product from your supplier's websites, whether it's one product, 10 products, 100 or even thousands of products at once, and you can import them all to your store in just a few seconds. Now, while there are multiple methods for using the dropshipping product importer, like the multiple CSV file, the single or the multiple product importer, I'm just going to demonstrate one quick method right now. Here is a product that I want to sell from one of my dropshipping suppliers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy the product URL up here. Then I'm going to head over to the AutoDS platform and click on add products. Now I have a few choices, the single or the multiple product uploader. I'm going to go with the single product importer. Here I can choose what store I want to publish it to. So in this case, it's my Shopify store. doesn't matter that it's USA. On your site, it's going to be UK. Although do keep in mind when you register for your Shopify store, use shopify.co.uk instead of shopify.com to easily target your UK audience. And on Wix, it'll simply be done on Wix.com. On both cases, on both scenarios, you can also do it on the regular.com. And when you create your shipping zones on your websites, you'll be able to add UK into your shipping zone, meaning your UK audience will be able to purchase from your website. So what I'm going to do once again is paste that URL right here in the add products section on AutoDS. Make sure that the supplier source and the region is correct. Now I'm going to click on edit now quick. Now in just a few seconds, AutoDS is grabbing all of the information from the supplier's website and it's adding it to the AutoDS platform to the draft section, 
where I can optimize this product before importing it to the product section, meaning it'll go live on my store and anyone can go in and start to purchase it. So now that the product has loaded, you can see that we have that condenser microphone right here and all of the product's information from my supplier just got transferred to my AutoDS platform. So here we have the product's title, which we can optimize. We have the collection that we want it to belong to. So for Shopify, we can add a collection. We can also add it to a specific collection. We have product tags that was imported for me automatically from AutoDS, shipping method, country location default city and in our case if the product is coming from the uk of course we're going to choose the united kingdom as the country location and put a city that we have inside the uk monitoring stock monitoring price monitoring and automatic orders which is another great advantage that you will have when drop shipping with auto ds so besides just product importing and price and stock monitoring you can also automate your orders meaning the system will fulfill it for you automatically even while you travel even while you sleep along with updating tracking information automatically, but we didn't get to that part of this video yet. Here we've got the product's description. So all the description from our supplier's website, imported onto our product description here. And of course you can edit it, optimize it however way you want. And here you have the variations. So if there are multiple variations, you can add them here. And you can also add more variants from different suppliers, from different sellers, even in different marketplaces and add them as a different variation to this listing. Meaning you can have your own unique customized listings that no other seller has and therefore differentiate yourself from the competition and be able to rake in more sales and profits this way. Besides that, we have the product images and the item specifications, which were once again transferred from our supplier's website site to our AutoDS platform, therefore simplifying the process and saving us a whole bunch of time that we need in order to invest back into growing our dropshipping business and not getting stuck on day-to-day -day tasks like importing products or even fulfilling your orders. Once you're done optimizing your product, simply click on save and import, and it will move from the drafts to the product section of your AutoDS store, meaning it's now live on your Shopify, Wix, or eBay store, and anyone can now go and purchase it. Now that you finally have products in your store, it's time to market your store so that other people will know that your store exists. Now on eBay, as I mentioned, you have free organic traffic, meaning you don't have to pay any traffic sources to bring traffic to your website. As soon as you list a listing on eBay, people will be able to go and see it. On the other hand, you still have other tools that will help you get more traffic and sales to your eBay listings. With Promoted Listings Standard and Promoted Listings Advanced, you have a link to both of them in the article below where you can read more about it and learn how to best optimize each method. But basically, promoted listing standard means you're giving eBay a certain percentage from your selling price on eBay, but only if and after you make a sell from promoted listings on eBay. Now, you're going to give eBay a set percentage. You can tell them, hey, eBay, I'm going to give you 1%, 5%, 15% from the total price, whatever you choose. The higher percentage you give them, the more visibility they'll give your listing to your audiences, to their audiences, which means you'll have a much higher chance of selling. But on the other hand, you'll have a higher ad fee because you're giving them a higher percentage from your selling price. That is promoted listing standard. Promoted listings advanced is eBay's new PPC method. So it's eBay's new pay-per-click method for running PPC ads on eBay. eBay will sponsor your listing, show it to more people according to how much you're paying eBay for every click. You can set a daily budget and if you want to learn more about how to create a successful eBay PPC campaign with live examples, check out that article on Promoted Listings Advanced in the blog article for Dropshipping UK right below this video. So that is marketing on eBay. Now how can you market on Shopify and Wix? We know that it's going to cost us some money, but what are the best methods to do it? The first is email marketing, as I mentioned earlier in this video. Now, email marketing doesn't cost any money to run, and it's a great method that the smallest to the largest businesses use until today. It is a great method that still works. Once you have a large database of email addresses from audiences that are relevant to your product, to your niche, then you can send them promotional emails, offering them all kinds of discounts on your store. Now, before sending out these email promotional campaigns, you're going to have to get email addresses from people who are relevant to your niche. How are you going to go about doing that? On both Shopify and Wix, you have free apps that will help create promotional deals on your website for your shoppers. In exchange for their email addresses, they will get a promotional code to get some kind of discount from your store. So check out apps that will help you obtain email addresses for email marketing on both your Shopify and Wix app stores. And from there, you'll be able to obtain that list of email addresses that you need for your business in order to promote email marketing. Another method for online marketing is using PPC ads. 
PPC stands for pay-per-click and you have different platforms for running PPC campaigns like Facebook, Google and YouTube and this way you can target your audience and show them a great video ad of the product that you're trying to sell and get them to click and convert. If you want to learn how to run successful PPC ads, whether you're dropshipping on Shopify or Wix, we have a free eight steps ebook that will take you step by step into creating successful Facebook ads for your product. Even if you don't have any videos for it or you're missing all kinds of information like how to target your audience, how to create your Facebook ads account, what is the Facebook pixel and how you can install it, how to target your audience with an audience research spreadsheet that will help you target the right audiences for your ads, how to create your Facebook video ads, your ad goals, configuring and setting your goals and your ad sets, launching your ads and analyzing and optimizing once your ads start to convert and close sales. This is a free ebook taking you step by step with live examples on how to run successful Facebook ads. Now you can implement the same strategies also on Google ads and YouTube ads, but Facebook ads is one of the best platforms to start with. You can set whatever daily budget you want and shoot for the stars. One of the best things about PPC ads on the one hand, right, granted, you're paying for every time someone clicks on your ad. But once you start getting those sales, it's very easy to scale those ads and multiply your sales and success from there. Now, besides PPC ads and email marketing, you can also use influencer marketing, meaning you can group up with influencers to have them make a shout out for your product. And of course, if your influencer has your target audiences as followers, you're going to get lots of clicks, sales, and conversions from there. So that is another great way to get brand awareness and get sales and profits for your websites. And if you don't know how to hook up with influencers, we have a full article on influencer marketing platforms, once again, in the blog article below this video. And through there, you're going to learn about the best influencer marketing platforms where you can analyze your influencers before reaching out to them and negotiating a deal. Now, besides that, there are other marketing methods that you can use by reading the top five low budget marketing tricks to market your Shopify or Wix stores. Once again, links in the article below this video. So these are the best marketing methods to use when you're drop shipping on Wix or on Shopify. Now, once you market your products on eBay, Wix, Shopify, whatever selling channel you chose, you're going to finally start making some sales. Now we're going to learn how to fulfill our orders the best way for our business. Once you start getting orders on your e-commerce store, it's time to fulfill them. There are once again, two methods of doing it, the manual way and the automatic way. In the manual method, for every time you get an order, you'll simply need to head over to your supplier's website, purchase the product and ship it to your buyer using your buyer's address. Sounds pretty simple, right? But what are you gonna do once you start scaling your store and start earning some great profits? What happens once you start reaching 15, 25, and 50 plus orders per day? You're gonna be spending all day fulfilling your orders and not growing your dropshipping business any further than you can. You can also hire virtual assistants to take care of this task for you, and that is fine. In the AutoDS system, you also have a virtual assistants panel that can help you create accounts for virtual assistants and take care of these daily tasks for you. But you also have a great method to take care of all of your orders using automatic orders. And this is a great method not only to save you time for fulfilling every order or allowing your VA to do it, but don't forget that at the end of the day, we're also human. And it's very common to make small mistakes like shipping to the wrong address or using the wrong buyer details. And then we'll have to suffer the costs of sending out a new package and not getting refunded for the one that we sent out by mistake. For this, you have the automatic order service from AutoDS. And in automatic orders, all of your orders will be processed automatically as soon as they come into your stores. So even while you travel, even while you sleep, you have orders that come in, they will be processed automatically for you using your buyer accounts on your supplier's website. To learn more about automatic orders, I'll leave a link to this feature right below this video. But in general, that's exactly what it does. It'll automate and process all of your orders for you automatically, as well as update tracking information as soon as that's available. So this is how it looks on the AutoDS platform. This is the order screen, and here you can see all of the orders that you have. Now this is a demo account, so you don't have to worry about these old dates, but basically the order will come in in pending status and it will get sent to automatic ordering. From there, as soon as it's ordered, the status will automatically change from pending to ordered with the order ID. Then once tracking information is available, it will move from order to shipped along with tracking information on AutoDS and on your website. And once it gets delivered, it'll move to the delivered status. And that is the whole life cycle 
of an order from the moment it comes in to the moment it gets delivered to your buyer. When you automate your business, you'll be able to scale more and more because all of these processes are being done automatically and there won't be any humanly mistakes made here like shipping to the wrong address. Once again, to learn more about automatic orders, check out the link that I left right below this video. Along with automatic tracking updates that come with your automatic order service, you'll also get free tracking conversions for tracking information that you're getting from your suppliers that is not supported or not readable on your website or on your eBay store, you can get these trackings converted to Blue Care Express or to Aqualine, and therefore your tracking information will be readable on universal websites like 17track.net or on Blue Care or Aqualine's websites. This way, once again, if you're getting tracking numbers from your suppliers that are not readable or not supported anywhere else, this way the buyer will always be able to track the progress of his delivery. Now, once we are done fulfilling our orders, it's only a matter of time before our customers will start reaching out to us. And this is the next part, providing great, excellent customer service. This is very important for the long-term survivability of your e-commerce business. If you provide great service to your buyers, not only will they remember you, your store, and your brand, but they will also refer their friends and their family to buy from you, which is a great way to grow your e-commerce business. No matter what selling channel you are using, if you're using Shopify or Wix, you have a dashboard to check your customers' messages and also use the email address associated with your domain name. Always check daily for new customer messages or inquiries, or if they have any problems with their orders, if they wanna open any return cases, always answer them as soon as possible and take care of everything that's needed. If you're dropshipping on eBay, you have the eBay customer support management system embedded into the AutoDS platform. And from here, you can manage all of your customers' requests, cases, and messages all under one screen, no matter how many stores you have. And you can also create chat snippets to provide quick answers to repetitive questions that you're getting on your store. This is gonna help streamline the whole customer support management and the service that you are giving to your customers. So always be sure to put customer service on the top of your list. Before we wrap up this video, I wanna talk about some of the best UK dropshipping suppliers that you can use on your e-commerce business, starting with Amazon UK, AliExpress UK, Banggood UK, Wayfair UK, Costway UK, Vita XL UK, and I spoke about some of these earlier, CJ Dropshipping UK, eBay UK, but of course, if you're dropshipping on eBay, then you can't use eBay as a supplier because then you'll have duplicate tracking numbers, which you cannot use. Go Dropship, AW Dropship, and Printify. Now, besides the last three, you can use the rest of these suppliers to automate your dropshipping business with price and stock monitoring, automatic order fulfillment, and quick product importing, because these suppliers show up on autods.com slash suppliers, and that is how you know that you can automate your dropshipping business and dropship from the UK to the UK at blazing fast speeds with business automation. That wraps up this video of how to create a dropshipping business for the UK market, whether you live in the UK or outside the UK. I hope that you found this video informational, and if you did, give it a small like and a share, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. Thank you for watching and good luck with your UK dropshipping business.